Well guys, we are back and we are about to swap this stiff fluid. I don't think the four millimeter half inch. Four millimeter half inch. Diff fluid has not been changed in this car. I've got Valvoline 75W90 that we're gonna be putting in. Of course, as Generation Garage recommended, shout out to him. Get yourself some squeeze packs. They'll make your life much easier than trying to use a pump or some type of bottle. Definitely. Yes, much easier. So. And what I always do on this, so you see how it's kind of gurgling there a little bit? Mm -hmm. Go up here to your fill point. Give yourself a little bit of air coming in there. And she flows nice and smooth now. Perfect. All right. So we'll let that finish draining out. And then we will get back to you guys once we are about to squeeze, pack, and fill it in with new fluid. All right, guys. So we are back. This is the plug for the diff. We need to wipe this off, as you guys can see. There are some metal shavings on there, so we need to wipe that off before we reinstall that. Just so make sure you wipe this off, right? Now you can check, see if there's any big metal shavings or if it's all just the fine granules. Mm -hmm. And again, that's gonna be fairly normal to have small shavings as your diff is grinding and you're driving. If you see anything major though, you definitely wanna get that checked. Come here, make sure that's all tightened down. Change out the O ring. Put on new crush washer. Clean it up. Jeremy with the strength of the Hulk. <laughs> Stop a little bit early. That way you go check, make sure your torque is correct on it. Come back with the torque wrench, torque it to spec. And she's good. She's tight again. Now we're ready to pretty much fill. And that is your fill plug right there. All right, guys. So we filled the first bag. Now we are filling the second bag to fill the stiff and you will know when the diff is fully filled with fluid once it starts to dribble out and overflow slightly. So buy two bags, as I said, but this should conclude filling this diff up with new fluid. Pretty easy. If you have a nice lift, you got the space. Shouldn't take you very long to do this. And don't spill the diff fluid like I did because this fluid stinks. If you get it all over your hands, you're and gonna have some you stinky go. hands. Here we go. It's dribbling up just like that. You come in, wait till it's actually at a full dribble up top. <clears throat> get this so you guys can see this a little bit better. And yeah, so there we go. And then after it runs on to like this, you definitely want to clean off your exhaust, hit it with a little bit of brake parts clean and a nice clean rag, and then you'll be good. Right after that, like I said again, you always want to replace the crush ring. Mm -hmm. And just wait for it to start to do a slight dribble. Almost there. Once it starts to slow down, you can come in here. Put your plug back in. Get your plug in. Tighten that down.
And we're Gucci. Just like that. Bada bing, bada boom. And you finish it off. The final wipe. You've got some excess stiff fluid dribbling over. Make sure everything's all tight, all clean. And that's complete. That, guys, is how you swap the diff fluid in a 2009 to 2012 Genesis. And just run a bit of brake cleaner over that to clean it. Yeah, but she said you were from Connecticut, so I assume. And that way you can check for any leaks, any drips. Yep. Make sure everything's all nice and clean. Boom. Just like that, you guys. We are clean again. Alright, guys. If you guys like this video, be quick. Again, how to change your diff fluid. This is the fluid. That I purchased for the car so you guys can see it make sure you guys go ahead and like share subscribe to the channel liking the channel is free and yeah catch you guys on the next video